Hey everybody, this is Robert with Sigma 3 Survival, and uh, we just finished up a video on uh, doing a yo-yo trap with a jug set, and we happened to catch uh, this decent sized little catfish here. And, uh, you know, catfish is, is real simple to get for the most part. Um, you can catch those primitively with a gorge hook, uh, but uh, yo-yo trap's a hell of a lot easier, so I always pack at least, you know, anywhere from four to all the way up to ten sometimes, depending on how long the trip is. But um, I wanted to show you all a, a quick method that I use. It doesn't take any pots or pans or anything like that. And uh, we just use local vegetation in order to cook our food. Um, so the first thing I did was I went and, and hard, uh, harvested some nettles. And uh, nettles are great because you can use them for cordage. And in order for me to touch them, I went ahead and I singed them over the fire first after I cut them. And uh, that will eliminate the formic acid in the nettles uh, so that you can handle them and do whatever. And as far as, as using them for a tie, uh, just go ahead and, and leave the actual cordage portion on and just use the entire stem. And basically what I'm going to do is I'll lay my stems down and depending on how big the fish is, depending on, you know, uh, how many stems you need, but I've, I've got a probably five or six here. And uh, so I lay my, my uh, nettle stems down and I use some sycamore leaves and some sunflower leaves here to cover cover the plant and basically what you're gonna we're gonna do is just uh, cook this in the ashes and we're using this vegetation as a protection on the food and I typically do this with scaled fish um, but uh, if, if you use a, if you, let's say you catch a brim or a bass or something like that and you cook it like this if you cook it at the right time right amount of time what will happen when you peel the leaves off is it'll actually peel off uh, the scales with it and you'll have nothing but meat. It's my favorite way to cook because you get right to the good stuff without having to pick through any of the scales or anything like that. So uh, just keep that in mind. Make sure you wrap it in, in several layers of leaves, um, you know, because obviously the fire can scorch through it. So you want to make sure that you've got a, enough there. But um, basically what you do start with one side and work your way around and I'll take these nettle stems and I'll just tie them over on themselves and and nettle is such a good cordage that uh, that this this will work pretty well for us um, typically I like to use like oak bark or something like that but there wasn't anything around so you, you use what you got And this doesn't have to be a, a, a real tight knot or anything like that. Uh, you just want to make sure that it's good enough to, to hold uh, the leaves onto the to the catfish. And do one more. And don't get fancy with your knots. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm the worst about knots. I just do overhand knot for damn near everything I do, and it works great. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to do anything different than that. So, give me a few minutes, and I'm going to get the rest of this wrapped up, and then we're going to show you how to cook it and come back. All right, so we got the catfish wrapped up, and like I said, uh, just take some nettle stems, run it over a fire, burn the formic acid off, Use whatever kind of leaves you have in the area. Wrap it up real, real well. You want a few layers on each side. Uh, you don't have to focus so much on the head and the tail because those are going to get singed anyway and, and you haven't got any real meat on them. So um, Basically, we're just going to set this in the fire, in the coals. You want to burn your fire down to the coals where they're real hot. And uh, we'll let it cook for about anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes on each side depending on how big the fish is and uh, how, you know how hot the fire is so just set this in you just set it down there and um, you can use whatever as a spatula a couple sticks just to roll it over it works just fine and um, we'll come back in about 
uh, 20, 30 minutes, and it should be done, should be ready to eat, and we'll go from huh. there. All right, so we've let this cook for probably 25 minutes, and I took a little bite out of the inside, and man, is it it's good. Uh, the sunflower leaves made a, I don't know, it just gave it a, a flavor that uh, is, is very, very tasty. And uh, the nettle worked pretty good as well, so... Um, if you want to make a fancy spatula, they're not that hard to do. Just get you a couple uh, fork sticks works great. Or if you're lazy, you just grab a couple sticks that have got a flat edge on them. Just whatever whatever gets the job done, it doesn't matter. Hadn't got to be. made myself a little abo plate here. This is some birch bark. And you just peel this off. And like I said, if you're using, if you've got a scaled fish instead of something like a catfish, then uh, the scales will pull right off with it and it's ready to eat. And it's pretty similar with the skin. You can just brush the skin off because you know, sometimes when you're, if you skin a cat before you cook it, you know, you'll get some of the meat and things with it, but it uh, depends on how good you are at it. Let's take a little bite here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good. So, you know, like I said, we caught this with a yo-yo trap. Throw yourself a few in your pack and you're guaranteed to have some food if you're anywhere near a, a good source of water with fish. Um, and uh, just uh, please help support us by subscribing to our, our videos and uh, any commentary is appreciated. And, uh, you know, check back for the next one. We'll be doing this in a, in a couple more weeks. So thanks.